Hi guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that's happened this month at iFixit. Here's what we've been up to. Our teardown table has been quite busy this month. We started off with the new iPad Mini 4. The Mini 4 has a not so cool fuse display, eight megapixel iSight camera, and two gigabytes of RAM in the same 7.9 inch mini form that some of us love. But will it score better than last year's model? Check out the complete teardown to find out. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past month, you might have heard that the new iPhones were released. We sent a crew to Australia to be the first to get their hands on one so we could tear it down. First, we got a look at the new iPhone 6S, where we got our first look at the new Taptic engine. We even got some cool x-rays of it in the works. Digging deeper, we found some amazing tech on the board, including the Apple A9 system on a chip with two gigabytes of Samsung LP DDR4 RAM. We also got our hands on the iPhone 6S Plus, and as we didn't want it to feel left out, we tore it down too. While most of the changes in the new 6S Plus were similar to the changes in the 6S, we did notice that the Plus has a smaller Taptic engine. It also has a much larger camera due to the optical image stabilization hardware. Lastly, we took apart the new Apple TV and the redesigned Apple TV remote. If you're wondering what makes the fourth generation Apple TV so much bigger than previous generations, look no further than these huge heat sinks. Of course, we had to take a peek at the new remote as well. We found that it has a touchscreen controller similar to those seen in the iPhone 5S, 5C, and iPad Air, and a 410 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. To see all the details of these exciting teardowns, check out the teardown page on ifixit.com. And of course, you can see the video teardown review right here on our channel. Over at our blog, we have a great story of a few kids that embody what we try to express at iFixit. First, repair is probably easier than you think. And second, if it's already broken and destined for the trash, you really have nothing to lose by trying. The kids over at Fixer Lab get to work on fixing a fan, and the result is an inspiration to aspiring fixers everywhere. If you want to check out their video, we'll have a link in the description below. We also have a story about Jeffrey Fowler, a journalist for the Wall Street Journal, who had a friend with a broken Samsung TV. When he took to the internet to find out how to fix it, he found how difficult it was to find guides from manufacturers. He also found a new passion for the right to repair. Check out these full stories and more at our blog at ifixit.org. We always talk about how cool our community members are. Well, don't take my word for it. One of our amazing community members made a time-lapse video of his MacBook Pro repair, and you have to see it. You can find a link to it on our blog and in the description below. David is one of my Twitter friends that has been on a roll lately with fixing his devices. He started with the iPhone 4S battery repair and went on to the iPhone 5 camera repair. Awesome job, David, keep repairing. If you wanna be featured on our next rundown or if you have a repair coming soon, send me a tweet and you might get a little help from iFixit. Over at our YouTube channel, we have a great fixers in focus. This time we talked to Butch Boswell, who has a thriving guitar repair business that just happened to turn into a new adventure of building guitars from scratch. Be sure to check out his story at our YouTube channel. We also took a closer look at what makes the new iPhone so water resistant. After seeing many successful water tests online, we had to see how this was possible and why Apple didn't promote it as such. There were a few subtle changes that made a huge difference, like the modified case and some redesigned cable connectors, among other things. To see the whole story, check it out on our channel or over at our blog. And that's your September iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit or checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.